Greetings from the upper Midwest. Edge of a tall grass prairie and a forest. Frozen pond behind me. It's spring. Well, almost. But a lot of spring is in the air. All around me you can hear <coughs> conquery. <coughs> conquery. And many of you know that is the song of the red winged blackbird. So let's have a peek at the red winged blackbird. It's a bird we've covered earlier, but I want to talk about something else. That's the male. He's red in the wing and he's a black bird. That's the female. She's not a black bird and she has no red in her wing. You ever notice this? In a lot of um, a lot of Western scientific uh, nomenclature, and they name things after the male birds. There's a number of birds, black-throated green warbler, um, for instance. Well, there's a lot of them that are just, that describe just the male bird. They don't describe the females. Uh, and the other thing that we often think about is that we often talk about the vocalizations just of the male birds, but there's plenty of female bird song out there. Check out Female Bird Song Project. Uh, pretty interesting uh, research going on around the world showing that actually many species of birds that are females that have uh, yeah, sing as a female bird. In North America, lots of examples here, including the cardinal, one many people know quite well, and this one, the red-winged blackbird. So right now they're coming over in big streams, collective down for red-winged blackbirds. One of them is a merle of red-winged blackbirds. There's a pair of nervous Canada geese behind me. Not Canadian geese, by the way, it's Canada geese. They don't have passports. Something's got them upset. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's an old couple coming down the trail. Oh, they look sweet. Anyhow, so it's spring. Tune in those ears, get those eyes up, and start looking and listening, because birds are starting to move in big flocks, and they're going to be getting real busy. These red-winged blackbirds will be, before you know it, they'll be breeding. The males are already calling and advertising. They'll have up to three broods in a year. They'll make a new nest every time. That helps keep down the parasite load and the babies. And there they go. Good luck. So, red wings on the move, geese on the move. A lot happening here in the upper Midwest. And I'll be in touch with you soon. More videos to come. So with that, good burden.